Hello everyone, this is M Decker 19 here, and I'm in my room as you can tell. Uh, I just wanted to say first that uh, I had vlogs on my YouTube before, but I deleted them, and I have my own reasons for doing that, and I don't really want to discuss why. But I'm deciding to do vlogs again, so the first vlog that I'm going to do is my five most anticipated games of E3. But I do have three honorable mentions. One's a, um, I'm doing this like no script or anything, so just bear with me. Uh, one's an Xbox Live arcade game, and it's called Trials Fusion. And it's going to be coming out on the Xbox 360, Xbox One, PC, I think, and the PS4. Another honorable mention, and these two weren't mentioned at E3 at all, um, Grand Theft Auto V. For those of you who know me, I'm a huge Grand Theft Auto fan, so when the next, when the next Grand Theft Auto game comes out, I'm like, yeah, I gotta get that. Same with this next game, WWE 2K14. I'm a huge wrestling fan, as you can tell by the CM Punk poster. Um, yeah. So now let's go on to number 5. Now this one was mentioned at last year's E3, so it's number 5 for that reason. And it's Watch Dogs. I cannot wait for that game to come out. I've played just about every Ubisoft game that they've made, and I've loved them. Number 4 is Rise Sons of Rome, I believe it's called. I didn't. I don't really remember the name, I just know it's got something to do with that. Um, it's coming out on the Xbox One, so yeah, it's an exclusive, and the Xbox One is going to have a starting price of 499 I think, so I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get an Xbox One that quickly, but when I do, I know Rise Sons of Rome is definitely one of the games that I want to get. Um, at number three is Dead Rising 3. <laughs> three and three. That's funny, huh? Um, sorry for my lame jokes. I know I'm horrible, but uh, I didn't really like any of the Dead Risings. But I saw three, and I'm like, hey, this is actually pretty good. I mean, there's no more bathrooms. That's the one thing I did not like about any of the Dead Risings: bathroom saving. It's like, come on here. I don't want to have to go and find a bathroom when I'm in the middle of like a field of zombies. I mean, come on here. And the only thing I didn't like about Dead Rising 2 is, again, the bathroom thing and um, the workbenches. I mean, if I've got, say I was wanting to make the boxing gloves with the knives on them, I have to find a workbench, and Dead Rising 3, there's no workbenches. You can do it right on spot. Um, what else did I look, didn't like? I didn't like Dead Rising 1 because of, again, the bathrooms, and when I got to a certain spot, and for those of you who know what I'm talking about, it's the spot where every time you go outside, you've got to worry about freaking convicts on an ATV. Every time I went outside, they just killed me. So, I rage quit that game. Yeah. I never finished that game at all. Dead Rising 2... The one where you have to get Zombrex for this girl. And, well, if you couldn't find it normal way, there was a pawn shop, but ugh, that's expensive, so I just quit that game too. I know, I quit a lot of games. Sorry. Um, number two, if you would take a look right there, that'll give you the clue as to what number two is, but I'm going to say it anyways. Batman Arkham Origins. I am, out of the trailers and all that stuff I've seen, I am falling in love with this game. I've played, the first Arkham game I played was City. So I'm like, oh, there's a game that came before it. Downloaded it, loved it. So I have a feeling I'm going to love Arkham Origins. Um, and number one is Saints Row 4. And in case you're wondering where I'm looking, little pad right here. So I don't forget, because I have horrible memory. Yeah, my memory's pretty horrible. Um, so yeah, do I even have to 
mention why Saints Row 4 is my number one. I mean, seriously. Superpowers? Aliens? What else could a nerd want? Yeah. I know. It's pretty intense. Um, let's see here. Ah, Friday's upload. I am... I have two films saved on Call of Duty Black Ops. I'm gonna record them and I'm gonna upload them. Uh, let's see, is, is there anything else I wanted to say? Oh yes, I wanted to give a proper shout out to Alyssa White because if you watched my game collections video you had to pause it in order to really see the shout out. So I wanted to give a proper shout out to her and I'm gonna leave a link in the description to her channel because she she is such a sweet girl and she deserves a lot of subscribers and I, I know I'm not the one to be saying anything about go over there and subscribe to someone because I have only 13 subscribers but I don't really care you know sharing the love with people that's what you gotta do so yeah, I think I've said everything I wanted to say. Um, so yeah, bye. Sorry if this is awkward, but yeah, bye.